How's it going, everybody? It's time for Horus, the redemption match. Because if you didn't see yesterday, I played Horus, but I was lagging like crazy. And the match didn't go so well. So I s promised I would get another Horus match where I'm not lagging like crazy. And maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. I mean, you can see I'm gold bordered Horus. So, you know, again, he's not amazing in duel, but he's, he's fun. He's fun, and isn't that what matters? Isn't that why we all play Smite, right? Of course, for fun. All right, let's get a nice Sunder. And let's let's get this show on the road. We're up against a Heimdallir, which I don't see very... Oh, I should have got beads. <sighs> Mistakes were made. That's okay. We just got to kill him over and over again before he, lets, he hits level 5. Simple as that, right? Surely I can just counter ult him every single time. Hello. Joy Jeff. I really hope he doesn't start at my red buff because if he does, I don't think I'm going to contest it. I think I'm just going to go straight to lane after this. Okay, let's go. Unless he's not here, then I will take this right away because I have mannequins. Okay, cool. He's not still in this. Hit all the minions at least once for mannequins. Could have cleared that a little bit faster but that's okay we are now level four so we can get to lane faster very cool in fact if i get my ability i might be able to kill him here horse is nutty <laughs> oh the double sunder goodness is so good on horse you can kill almost any squishy god instantly like that like seriously the second i saw he went to the side of the wave i was like i, I got him like, even if he had, like, I don't know, Meditation or Aegis, it's like, I still would have just kept autoing him after. But yeah, really good start. I'm gonna go take my speed buff now. This is what we need to do. We need to snowball hard because I didn't get beats. I'm gonna suffer for it. We are rushing Golden Blade because, I guess I didn't explain this last match, but for those that don't play Horus, his one counts as an auto attack, like the, the ranged part of it, because first it knocks up and then it does like a ranged auto attack. And that counts as an, because that counts as an auto attack, it procs things like Hydra's Lament, uh, it procs things like Golden Blade, but strangely enough, it doesn't proc Stone Cutting. And the reason for that is Stone Cutting's passive is melee basic attacks decrease physical protections, and it doesn't work with Stone Cutting. I didn't learn this until recently on my stream. He's gonna ult me. Yo, I knew it! I knew it! But what I hate is Smite is so inconsistent because guess who can proc stone cutting with his autos? That's right, Sukuyomi with his ranged auto attacks that are definitely not melee. So yeah, it's super annoying. Uh, I don't know why it's an inconsistency, but yeah, Horus can't proc stone cutting, but uh, Horus can't, which is super annoying. Okay, we might. We might dip here. I don't know. We got his ult. I don't kind of don't want to fight too hard. We don't even have a uh, golden blade yet. Then again, my Sunder is coming up. He does have mannequins too, though. Oh, he stole my uh, my everything there. He stunned me out of my two. What a gamer. If he didn't stun me out of my two, I think I would have killed. Uh, well, maybe not killed him, but I think I would have gotten a huge amount of damage. Well, I guess I know that now. It's going to be difficult to use my 2 because he can stun me out of it. I don't know. I don't even know how to play around that because my 2 is already almost instant. But his his 2 is even more instant. By the way, now that we have Golden Blade, we can clear the wave with our autos and save our kit for the enemy god. Transcendence. Transcendence is pretty good right now. Good item. Good item, good build. Oh, he got his ult again? I should be able to get out with my three. Oh, if I could use it! There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm out. Bye-bye. I'll see ya. I enjoyed your ultimate. Physical defense. I think I'm going to go void. And the reason I'm going to go void is I explained this last time. My two does protection reduction, while void shield does percent reduction. So... The order penetration is percent reduction, flat reduction, 
uh, percent pen, regular pen. So in this case, Void Shield will reduce his protections, and then my two will lower his protections after that. And that's really efficient, like mathematically. So it's, it's like it's like even better pen. And even if he like doesn't get defense, it just means I'm doing just even more damage. I mean, I, it's it's better if he does get defense, but if he doesn't, I mean, it still means my damage is just gonna skyrocket either way. Because then I'm eating through his his base protections like butter, like a hot knife through butter. Where is the Heimdallr boy right now? I have no clue. There he is. He has his speed buff. Interestingly enough. The fact that he's knock up and that makes this very complicated. Very complicated play, right? You'll notice I haven't used my ult yet. That is because there hasn't been a situation where it would help me. Like, now I can maybe dive on him, but even that would be kind of risky. Oh, is he going for his blue buff? He's going for his blue buff. Oh, this is so evil. <laughs> that was so evil. I love it. Horasol has so much mobility. That was so evil. He wasn't even going for his blue buff. Or I guess he was. Look at the timer. Oh, that's so funny. Like I said, this is the redemption game. I promise you guys it was lag last time. <laughs> no, not, last game I think I would have lost it either way because I was against Face. And Face is such an amazing player. He's really good at the game. But, I mean, I wanted to get some something with Oris. You know what I mean? All right, let's back off. I try not to take away from my opponent when they when they play well and they deserve it, you know what I mean? Sometimes if I'm against Izanami and they're doing Izanami things, then sometimes I get a little salty and stuff, but no, if my opponent is good, they played it well, they were, you know, impressive, then I don't want to take away from that. Whoops, I completely missed. Yeah, until we're level 12, we're just going to kind of go into this realm every single time. Let's see what damage I can get on him. Good damage. But can I kill him? That is the question. I have my ult pretty soon. I have my heal. Let's heal a little bit. Uh, my heal doesn't give me much at rank 1, though. He is backing. If he does that, then he's going to have to teleport back. There we go. Perfect, dude. And we still have some minions alive, so we can do a little bit of tower damage. Not too much. Just enough, though. Keep in mind that he can teleport back, though, so I'm going to back behind a wall. I would like to clear this wave, but if he teleports back and kills me, it's not really worth it. Okay, now we get our beads. I'm actually going to upgrade them immediately. Uh, next item. I want hydras, I think, or some sort of... Well, do I need more pen? No, he's not even getting defense yet. I think Hydra's is awesome on Horus, just increasing the damage of his one by a percentage. Just really good. Gonna max the two here, which is great. Reduces protection by 30. Yeah, we're, we're sh he's basically fighting us with like half protections whenever I use my two, which is really good. He has Ikaval, which is kind of annoying. The fact that he's knock-up immune makes this very complicated. Did I get here just in time? Oh wow, I timed that so perfectly. That was not planned, it was just luck. However, he did get the next wave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's alright. That's alright, I'm still ahead. I would like to steal his speed buff. I feel like that would be kind of helpful. And you know what? I don't think missing that entire wave was actually worth it. Now that I think about it. I think I just saw him on the left. He's going by his blue buff, I think. 
I don't actually know. No, I was completely wrong. He's over there. <laughs> I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was him. I think this is down now. Yeah. Saw something. I don't know what it was. I thought it was him. Uh, he is getting defense. Okay, do I want more pen, actually? Ooh. Dominance on Horus, though? I don't know. Uh, I'm still going to go Hydras first. I'm also going to upgrade Sunder. My ult over at the lane because I was kind of late. I don't want him taking this yet. Yeah, if we had Hydras there, I would have had a lot more damage. But we saved the tower, that's what matters. And his three's down for a long time. And I have a full minion wave. So I like that. That was, nice. that was good for us. If I had full Hydras, I mean, by the way. Damn, he does a lot of damage, though. Like, a lot of damage. I'm gonna lose my tower. That Ikaval is killing us. Ikaval's such a good item. I don't know if it's worth getting on Horus, though. I mean, we do want to go a auto attack hybrid build. And also, stone cutting might still be worth it, even though I can't uh, apply it on my one. Your tower is under we have a lot of items to think about. It honestly kind of depends if he goes double defense. If he goes double defense, I don't think stone cutting will be worth it. I think an executioner would be better. If he goes single, then I mean, yeah, stone stone cutting could be good. But yeah, I'm trying to go an auto attack hybrid build, so Ikvul could be good. We're definitely not building Horus like you'd build him into Conquest, by the way. Not at all. We're building him very differently in Duel. Uh, because in Conquest, you know, he's more of a support character. More of a, hey, I'm here to help you. Con in Duel, it's all, all him. All him by himself. Wow, that really sucks, actually. Him able to stun my two. Cooldown could be good, too. Not gonna lie. Cooldown could be good. What cooldown does is it means we can apply our Hydras more often, too. Oh, no. Got it back already. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say already because it's been a while. I got some of the wave, but I didn't get all of it. And he has an entire wave stacked up. Uh, it's unfortunate, but definitely not game over. He gets Phoenix here and that's it. Might not even get Phoenix. No, he's not even going to get Phoenix here. Wow, my Phoenix is godlike. They cleared those minions so fast. Let's go. Yeah, if he stays, I just ult him. Awesome. That's so good. That's so good. I was about to say, uh, even though that's not game over, it's just, you know, really bad to lose Phoenix for no reason. But he didn't get it. And it's not even like that low. It's still a quarter health, which means if he dives for it, I can uh, probably kill him. We should ward, though, to make sure he doesn't do that. Let's go place this. Go back for our blue buff. Ward, dispel that darkness. I always say one of the most important things about duel is taking as many buffs as possible. It's something I still need to improve on, but uh, it's the easiest way to get a lot of XP and gold. Put a little bit more points in our ultimate, just because our alt uh, gives us a nice shield at this point, and we are starting to use it more. How much shield is it? It's a 480 shield at max rank. That's pretty good. All right, he's yeah, he's already taken these. All right, my red's still up though. We also keep, have to keep in mind that if he places a crystal on my side of the map, he could just walk past me, go and take my phoenix, and then recall. Like that's a very real threat. Yeah, it looks like he's going single defense. I like the idea of stone cutting gear. I like it. It's even though it doesn't apply on my one, I'm getting auto attacks in between. I don't know. With our burst, it works out. Like when I when I use my beads, he tends to die. When my beads are down, we don't want to fight him. However, right now he has red buff, which is not good for us. Hey! Oh, dang it. Also, 
An item that's not bad that we could consider, Relic Dagger. Relic Dagger gives 350 health, 10% cooldown reduction, gives movement speed, which is good for maneuvering him, and I get my beads and Sunder more often so that he can't actually kill me. Because that's pretty much everything he needs. We're not going to use my one because he's just going to cancel it. We're going to fight him a little bit and then we use our three away. Yeah. Oh, he has life still now. Uh, we need anti-heal. Could be a brawlers. I should have realized that was an Aussie. My bad. I don't know why I thought it was going to be uh, something else. Oh, I pressed bees, but it didn't go off. I must have, I must have fat fingered it. I must have fat fingered it. That's okay. I didn't die. All right, we will get Brawler's Beat deck next item or something of the sort, and then I will sell Golden Blade for Relic Dagger. I think that's a decent build. Would like more attack speed, but I think it's fine. Could always change things. That's a nice thing. We can always change things if we change our mind. But Relic Dagger sounds pretty awesome here against this specific Heimdallir. It's actually a good thing I didn't use my beats now because it worked out. At the moment, it would have been better to use beats, but because I didn't die, <laughs> it did turn out to be better. It's funny how things work out like that because now I have my beats up and we can fight them again. Wow, we do not do much damage. The Hydras isn't helping too much because he's a little too tanky right now. I was pressing... Okay, that time I pressed it in time. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. He's not following. We need recall right now. What's cool is I can still heal him, Fountain. I missed. That wouldn't have killed anyways. I wouldn't have killed anyways. Ah, uh, man. At least we're alive. I'd upgrade mannequins now. Hidden blade's not a bad idea. Hidden blade or the other one. Uh, hidden blade's nice just because of horse burst damage. Our build's kind of strange, but I think it's still good. I always consider Hydra's more of a luxury item. Oh, wait. Whoa, I didn't mean to get Titan's Binge. Oh, my God. I'm, I misclicked the item. That's okay. We don't lose that much gold from that. But, um, yeah, Hydra's more of, like, a luxury item. Gives good, really good damage, of course. But sometimes, I think in this situation, I'm finding that I'm actually... Uh, missing a relics. I mean, missing an item slot now. Where I actually need another item slot, which is problematic, but that's okay. Yeah, that actually cost me quite quite a bit of gold. Not enough to like lose us the game, but it sucks. It sucks I actually misclicked it and walked out fountain. That's my own fault. Yeah, he has execution. He has Aussie. He's a very solid build. Um, it's gonna be very difficult to deal with. Our Golden Blade is actually kind of good still. Thankfully, we can actually go to the Titan like that, which is good. But now my beads are down for a long time. Let's get Tier 2 Brawlers. I might alt his wave here because what else we're going to use it on, right? Wow, that, I, I hate that he can cancel my two. That feels so weird. My god, dude, I can't do anything here. Ah, oh, man, I actually can't do anything here. He does so much damage. Oh, the Titan. 
We have to scare him out of Titan range so that it heals. Oh my god, dude. He's finally backing off, thank goodness. I don't know how we come back from this. He does so much damage. Definitely need my anti-heal in line. A double sunder could save it? Question mark? Like, if I double sunder him, but I also need my beads up, and I don't think he's going to give me the opportunity. I think he's going to ult me and go straight for, <laughs> for Titan. One more fight. All right. Yeah, he probably could have ended there. So cool of him to say one more fight. Hope I don't regret it. Fair enough. If I win, I'd give him... I wouldn't win off of that. I'd give him another fight, too. But I don't think I am going to. Yeah, he's got he's got full, blade, full build. I do not have my beats up, though. Oh my god, dude. I tried. We got some awesome stuff early game, but late game, it was just so difficult. His autos hit me for 9 auto attacks, 2,128 damage, and I'm mitigating a ton. So my defense was good, but just so much damage from Heimdler autos. If I could have changed one thing about my build, I think the Hydra's Lament was a little bit too... I wasn't ahead enough. Hydra's can be great on Horus. Because of it works with his one and it increases damage by a ton. If if you're up against a god that you can auto attack against, like auto cancel against, which I can't against Heimdaler, because then he'll cancel. He won't let me use my one. Uh, and also if I'm super ahead and I wasn't ahead enough to warrant a Hydra's Lament. So that's what I would change about it. But I hope you guys uh, learned something. Oh, I didn't get to say GG because he left the lobby. Whoops. Um, I'll just message him. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from the match and enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a wonderful game or a wonderful day. All right, I'll see you guys next time.